Ma me vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. Ah? Yeah, it's been six days after the showdown. Mm. Uh, yeah. What's going on? The aftermath of the showdown and the showdown itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the, on Saturday, mm. the, the primaries went on smoothly. Um, we didn't have any reports of major difficulties. And that's a credit to the party, the NPP party, the delegates and the Electoral Commission and the Ghana police for the peaceful and smooth conduct. As expected, Dr. Baumia won convincingly with 61%. Um, we were expecting a higher margin of about 70. Because um, we were expecting that the results will reflect the results of the first, of the first one, uh, the super delegates, which was about 70. Um, but we didn't get that. And we got 61, a little above 61. We're very, uh, we're very happy with the win. We've expected it. We are also. Uh, it's interesting the, the votes that my brother Kennedy Ajipong got, I think about 37%. But we had expected that he would, wasn't going to get more than 25. And so for him to get 37 is a significant showing by, by him. Um, and um, I am happy that after the elections, the event that the party organized uh, for the formal declaration of the results. At that event, all the losing aspirants, the three of them, all accepted the results, all praised the conduct of the elections, and all of them pledged um, to rally behind the, the winner, Dr. Dr. Baumia. So it's, it was a great day for the party, a great day for Dr. Baumia. And um, the last one week, his team and he himself have been taking it easy. The campaign is quite grueling, going to 275 constituencies across the country over um, a three or four month four month period it's not easy i went to i went with, with him to some of the greater Accra constituencies and then i was in the western region the western north and also central region and um, a bit of the eastern region too and <laughs> and also in volta region and randy i can tell you it is very grueling speaking to and, and because the time wasn't uh, enough the Bamiya team had to pack in four constituencies a day and um, so you go to the first constituency about nine ten and then you travel to the next one and depending on the distance you would finish at about 11 p.m and um, some of the distances are really big 30 kilometers 50 kilometers between one center and the next center they were really grueling and um, it's been done and so everybody took it easy has taken it easy in the last one week now we are waiting for the budget which um, we expect to happen next week the budget reading in parliament and after that, uh, the campaign will swing mm. into full oppression. <clears throat> All right, there's a jostling for running mate. Uh, the papers have been reporting. Uh, yesterday, they reported um, a, 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 um, an altercation between supporters of uh, uh, Dr. Poku Prempe, popularly known as Napu, and uh, supporters of uh, Dr. 
um, um, the energy minister, uh, the education minister, uh, the honourable Duchum, Dr. Mm -hmm. Duchum. Okay, and uh, um, he had even started earlier by uh, an accusation against uh, uh, a minister who they say is from Ashanti, who they believe is lying to people in the diaspora over this running mate uh, um, issue. But, uh, some analysts were also saying that uh, well, we must choose somebody from a uh, central or eastern region or central or western region uh, um, rather. I also saw an interesting one, a song composed uh, for the chief of staff, uh, Madame Frema Parry. A song, a song has been composed uh, with, with her images and all that. Uh, <laughs> what's making you smile? You mean there was a clash between two groups a of paper supporters? paper reported that. Wait, which paper? Um, yesterday. I, I, get, I get it. One of the... So the pro MPP papers. They, they actually had a clash. Yes, I think it was a verbal clash, <laughs> not a physical. Yes. Well, um, well, it shows that there's a lot of excitement mm. about the. And, and and not to forget, I mean, your name also came up on social media. <laughs> there, there is a lot of excitement. <laughs> I mean, hey, if if he chooses me, yes, victory is totally assured. But please repeat that. <laughs> but the choice no, please repeat the, the, cho the choice is his. If he chooses you the victory is totally assured okay. yeah okay. but the choice is his okay. and um it would be sad if the running mate uh, uh position mm. degenerates into a public a public uh, quarrel uh, i mean who's an aspirant for who, who's an aspirant for a running mate people lobby yes so there's nothing like there's this group of people five people or six people the 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 conventional wisdom in the party is that uh, it would be good if the running mate came from ashanti region being our biggest uh, stronghold uh, and but you are not from ashanti I'm not talking for myself. No, I'm saying that to the extent that you believe that when you are picked, it will yeah. be cool chop. It doesn't mean that if other people are picked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking for myself because you asked me. But it doesn't mean that if other people are picked, um, the victory will not be delivered. In fact, if you really so, check like you politicians do, you will find some Ashanti roots of yours. <laughs> So, yes. my interest is that we have to do all we can. Mm. And I suspect either the party itself or Dr. Babia himself mm. uh, should calm, calm the waters. Mm -hmm. It is good to lobby. How will, he, mean, how will uh, he do that? How, how does oh, he calm by the way, you can issue a statement. You can ask people to be calm and that you don't want a public spectacle. Yesterday, two, mm. two people came to my office okay. to talk to me about another person. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's fine if, if you can, you believe that. They didn't come to lobby for you. No. They came to lobby for That's why I'm else. surprised you say. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> that's why I'm surprised you say. Because I haven't. But uh, they came yes. to me mm. and... Um, to lobby for somebody okay. and they, they spent about half an hour telling me about the virtues of that person it's good as if it's from ashanti, ashanti not quite region. not quite not quite yeah not quite okay. not quite so means not. Okay. sorry not quite means not well <laughs> <laughs> like you said you can always you know, retrace yes. all kinds of rules. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I expect, in fact, because when they came, mm. they also tried to do a establish, link, establish an Ashanti link. link. Ashanti, mm. So. Mm. But that is fine. Mm. If uh, I am minded, I would also speak to people. Mm -hmm. But we should be very careful mm. that it doesn't become a public spectacle. Also, I'm shocked when mm. you said there's actually. So it's just a, a clash they got me the between um, two groups of supporters. Mm. I mean, we've just finished a beautiful uh, flag bearer race. We don't need 
a running mate race also playing out in the media and everybody having their their uh, serial callers mm -hmm. and 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 then to degenerate into attacking each other and running down each other we don't need that and if like you are saying there's is beginning to have public altercations um, something has to be done about it quickly so people will calm down what you have to do now so lobby the flag bearer and people that you think can put in a word for it. That is allowed. That is allowed. Um, but we should be careful mm. that it doesn't become <coughs> another parallel. Now, now, now uh, one of the papers reports of uh, a surprise visit to um, <coughs> Honorable Kenai Japan's uh, residence uh, by mm -hmm. Dr. Baumia. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, uh -huh, daily guide. The Baumia storms, I don't know how he did that. Storms Ken's house. Mm. I don't know if he uh, he broke the gate or no. Uh, you, have broke to, the wall you have, or to, you have to add a bit of drama. <laughs> you know, if you if you wrote that Baumia visits <laughs> Baumia visits Ken, then yeah. it might not. Yeah. That so, visit, so he stormed yeah. the house. So storm yeah. storm Mamudu uh, was at the <laughs> Ken's house. Really, from the results of the election, the first person I I heard speak about an integral and important role for Ken was um, uh, the former chairman of uh, your party, the Cocoa Board Board Chairman. Mark Menu. Mark Menu. Mm. He said that uh, Ken had demonstrated that he had a grassroots and, and therefore he, by virtue of the results he needed to um, play a key role and be given an important role as far as the prosecution of the campaign is, is concerned. Mm. Uh, this issue of running mate, his name has come up. I've heard issues about campaign manager. We're told that, uh, I've just referred to the newspaper about the storming of his residence and mm. all that. Uh, we've also had some of his supporters um, quite aggrieved as to how he was uh, mistreated. Some issues of uh, the campaign has come up, more especially at least one of them that we had, who's a spokesperson of Ken, has raised mm -hmm. issues about the treatment on the days, that day at the stadium. The playing of that song and he being asked to dance and the fact that they believe he was being mocked, you know, and they, they, they took on uh, Nana B uh, for what they believe was um, um, a very uh, provocative and infantile uh, 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 conduct. They uh, <laughs> uh, know that. How are you dealing with the issue of a person who has about 40 percent by by virtue of the results and who perhaps um, if anybody thought that he was just a, a rabble rouser a noise maker mm -hmm. i mean the the data perhaps are just otherwise how do you how are you dealing with, with that, that issue well it is i must uh, commend uh, dr baumia for taking the step to visit uh, the, the other aspirants and starting with Ken. I must commend him for that effort um, so, early in, so early in the day. Uh, it's been a tradition um, that when you win such a major election, you would go formally to, to, to the houses or offices of your contestants and show leadership by consoling them and um, asking them to come on board even at our small small parliamentary level every time I, I, I had uh, two primaries um, the first primary that I won in, in 1996 I went to the homes of not just my main contestant for the primary, but his key supporters. I went to the homes, in his organizers and all of that. I went to the homes of all of them to ask them to come on board. I did the same when I won the second primary. Uh, the second primary was against uh, Jomia. Yes, Jomia Mr. Is, George yeah, Mayer. George Mayer. Mm. was your <coughs> Akra Academy. 
And so I went to his house, and I went to his case. And then, in, in his case, he even took me to his case supporters to mm -hmm. show that he's on board. Of course, the third one, the fourth one, I was unopposed. He's just been appointed a King's Magistrate in, in the UK. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. been in the UK for a long time after. Mm -hmm. I think right after 2000 elections, mm -hmm. uh, when, he, when he didn't succeed in the primaries, he worked at the regional level for about a year or so. Then the last thing I had, he had gone abroad. So it is normal to do that. And the earlier you do that, the better. And certainly, Baumia is not going to stop at Kent. He's going to go to the, the homes of as many of them as he can. So far, so good. Say open online portal at Ghana. Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have been doing TV.